Oh, no, Robert. Hi. I don't know. Big fan of yours. Robert, you are an icon. And so I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of you. Now, what is it that makes you want to also be involved with like smaller budget horror movie like this? Such a big icon as you. Well, this was an opportunity for me to reunite with my Phantom of the Opera director, Dwight Little. Yes. And also old friends, Bill Mosley and I go way back, and Danielle Harris and I have worked together several times. And it was just fun to reunite with everybody. And I really like the script. So I, it doesn't always have to be A-list or big budget for me or... I star in the movie if I if I like the script, but I always want to have at least uh, one genre film coming out for the fans. I think that's important. Now, uh, when uh, younger artists, younger actors come to you for advice, what do you usually give them? What what advice do you usually give them? Well, if if it's an effects film, I tell them they really have to pace themselves because a lot of the young young actors they love to give 150 percent on every take, and that's great. But when you're dealing with special effects and other elements that are equally as important as the performance, you sort of have to pace yourself. Uh, someone once told me it's better to be at 75% and have the light in your eye than be 100% and be in the dark. <laughs> Last question, sir. Is there a chance that we're going to see Freddy Krueger uh, we're getting rebooted? Do you, do, you have any, do you like that idea? If Freddy I, I, I think if you saw me again, it would be Freddy Krueger meets Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, can I get a photo? Thank you, sir.